Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to He Beat Her. He Beat Her is an adventure visual novel for you as a lawyer to defend a client who's been accused of abuse and only have five minutes to find out the truth. Courtroom, 3 p.m. The court appoint you for another domestic abuse case. It's hopeless. Your client, accused of abuse, is going to be found guilty. Based on a few words from his ex-girlfriend. It's the five minute afternoon break. Your client sits next to you. His ex sits across his aisle. Right after this break is the verdict. You're running out of time to defend him. It's only time for one more action. Type one action, any action. What should I do? So this supposedly has a lot of different options and choices, a lot of ways to get to the ending, and there's some morality things here. And uh, so, let's see what happens. We'll just kind of wing it. Talk to my client. I can't do spaces. Talk to client. I don't think so. Talk. I need to say the right thing. So simple, simple choices, I'm assuming. What should I discuss? The events? Let me see. Let me try the event. That doesn't sound like a good idea. There's a little hint here. Here's some actions to start off with. You can think, talk, observe, and grab. The grab one's a little interesting, isn't it? Abuse. Here we go. Were you abused or did you abuse? That's quite blunt. It's okay if you don't want the answer. I wasn't abused. That's shameful. Don't ask me that again. Please. Hmm. I'm not getting anywhere with that. The break's up. Based on the prosecutor's words, your client is found guilty. And given a jail sentence of a year. And he's let out of the courtroom. You wonder. See, this is how quick this game is. All comes down to one action. There's a more you could have done. Go back in time. Let's try grab. Out of curiosity, that was there. I need to hurry. What to grab? The briefcase. No. Case. Bag. Okay, so let's see. Can I see your purse? She looks at you in disbelief. <laughs> what? I don't even know you. She won't bunch. What should you do? Steal it or convince her? Rear Renegade, steal it. You take the prosecutor's purse when no one's looking. Beyond the everyday items, there are suspicious looking medication records. They have your client's signature, as well as his social security number, which you do not even memorize. You rummage further into her purse and find a ripped up prescription for. This is highly illegal, by the way. Bipolar medication. The break's up. Your client didn't stand a chance. After his ex says she's uncomfortable around him, she manages to get a restraining order against him. As he's let out of the courtroom, you wonder. Was there more you could have done? So, right now we know our client says he was not abused. He, well, we're assuming he's the abusee, because he says that's shameful to be abused. We know the prosecution there is by his girlfriend's taking some bipolar medication, but we could have used that in the defense. So we need to figure out how to bring this to light and do it truthfully. So let's see. What else should I ask? Maybe I should try asking. I need to say the right thing. Maybe medication. Are you taking medication? Yeah, for pain. I lost all my records a while ago. They were, uh... Where'd your records go? They're with my girlfriend. I wonder why she took them. I can't function well without my meds. The break's up. The prosecutor has flimsy as an evidence. So the judge deems your client innocent. Ooh, wow. You feel like justice has not been served, however. 
as he's let out of the courtroom, you wonder. What if there's more to this case than meets the eye? Go back and try again. So we got him off. But we still need to find the truth. And get him off at the same time. Unless he is guilty, that could also be a situation. Let's try grabbing the purse again. And maybe asking. Bag. Medication, maybe? Prescription. Purse. So, let's see. Convince. She said she didn't know me. I need to make myself friendlier somehow. What should I talk about? Hmm. Work? You spent five minutes talking to her. Nope, we just lost the case. Or at least trying to. She doesn't warm up to you and only grows more suspicious. The breaks up. Based on the prosecutor's words, her client was found guilty and given a jail sentence of a year. Is it now the courtroom you wonder? Is it more is there a more just outcome? Talk let's let's see. Grab purse. Convince. Let's try another subject. Medication? Nope. Same thing. Let's see what else we can do here then. Maybe there's some other options other than talking. Dance. <laughs> this is a real option. You get up and wiggle your arms like something possessed. It reminds you of late nights. Parting in apartments, and a girl with red hair. That breaks up. You and your client lose the case. As you let out of the courtroom, you wonder. Could things have been different? So funny enough, that was a real option. Let's try singing then. You yodel to the top of your lungs and probably burst a vein. Long nights karaoke with someone. I forgot who. Paid off. Maybe that's the prosecutor? The breaks up. You and your client lose the case. There's some detail there. It makes you wonder if that's important. As you lay out of the courtroom, you wonder. Was the ruling just? Go back in time. Let's try staring. Stare. You admire the people around you. Nice, kind, at least they appear to be. You remember a girl who you thought was nice and kind. See, here's the red-headed girl again. But you were wrong. The breaks up. You and your client lose the case. Is it now the courtroom you wonder? Was the ruling just? What's the importance of the red-headed girl? That's interesting. Let's try- let's try something crazy. Punch. No. <laughs> Fight. Okay. Um, so those aren't- those aren't lawyer options. Plead? You can't go groveling on the ground, you're wearing your best suit. So they, they counted for that option, but we can't actually do it. Kiss? You give your client a surprise kiss? Oh no. Although you promised him he isn't a rebound. You feel like you're forgetting someone. The breaks up. I wonder if there's a twist to this. You and your client lose the case. As let out of the courtroom, you wonder. What does the redhead mean? Let's try love. Love is always the answer. You admire the people around you. That's the same as look. Okay. Let's see, can we talk to the prosecutor? Talk. I need to see the right thing. No, I think this is just to the, the client. 
So we asked about medication. Let's see. Redhead. Red. Here we go. Do you know a Gianna? Is that the redhead? A what now? A girl named Gianna. Hmm. Huh. Come to think of it. I think my girlfriend, um, ex, used to talk about a Gianna. They could share everything together. Stuff she wouldn't even share with me. Everything. Hmm? I wonder if I could get in contact with Gianna. The break's up. You and your client lose the case. He's let out of the courtroom, you wonder. You didn't have to be this way. Maybe we're, it's not really a courtroom. Maybe this is limbo. I'm really wondering at this point. Let's try entering Gianna. Hmm. Oh, I can just have like cheat this out if I want to, I guess. But we're gonna wing it still. Let's try... Maybe we can ask the prosecution this question. Bag. Grab. Grab. Prosecution. Lawyer? Client. No. Convince? Gianna. Her face lights up as she talks about her dearest friend. Why does everyone know this woman? I really love her, and, well, she loves me back. Feels good, man. Weird. We're open to you. She lets you look at her purse. She's a unique brand of trusting, that's for sure. Beyond the everyday items. There are suspicious looking medication records. I think this is the same as before. They have your client signature as well as his social security number. Do not memorize. Tonson. Hmm. Symbiax. Hmm. Let's remember the Symbiax name. Let's try crying. You crawl flashes of red hair and start crying. The thought of red hair is somehow traumatizing. Your client spends the rest of the break trying to reassure you. This is very surreal. The break's up. You and your client lose the case. He's allowed the courtroom, you wonder. What if there's more to this case than meets the eye? So I don't think this is a traditional court case, for one. I mean, that's been obvious for a while. We're trying to find the truth. I think we probably are the defendant. So, we're, I guess we're trying to recollect our memories, maybe? Let's see what happens. Let's try shame. Nope. Poke? Stab? I'm very honorable, definitely. I can't do that. No. Run. Flee. Sit. Stand. You leave the courtroom. Quite impolite. Might cost you your bar license. But you can't be fucked to help this guy who's also, frankly, fucked. <laughs> oh, oh my god. The break's up. You and your client lose the case. He's let out of the courtroom. You wonder. Was there more you could have done? Let's try to remember. I've forgotten something important. Okay, here we go. This is interesting. Gianna? You think Gianna had beautiful red hair? Smart and... Strange. You can't remember anything else. You still have her number. Every time you look at, you get urged to run far, far away, but... Your client said his ex and a Gianna were close. Should you call Gianna to investigate? Yes. Your hands feel moist, sweaty. Hello? Gianna, it's me. I need to ask you about... 
It's been years and you're only now crawling back? Well, guess what? I've moved on. You worthless. Hey, Static. But I heard my client's name. Keep his phone in my car. <laughs> his girlfriend's great too, but so easy to manipulate. I remember now. This abusive bitch. I'm getting flashbacks. Her abuse was barely noticeable at first. I I'm actually pretty confused about what's going on right now. Small insults here and there. I thought I deserved it. But I've grown. I can't let her ways destroy others any longer. Gee, I'll be the next in court. I take the audio recording of the call. The newfound solid evidence, there's no denying who's guilty. A restraining order is filed. Not against your client, but against his ex-girlfriend. You promise to keep in touch with your client. Justice is served, but did you uncover the whole truth? Interesting. Well, let's see what else we can find. Call. Take out your phone, put a chat by hesitate. Phones make you anxious, you don't know why. She's been the big break trying to remember. He breaks up. You and client lose a case. He's allowed in the courtroom, you wonder. It's justice served. Let's see. Evidence. You list what you know. Your client is being accused of emotional and physical abuse. Last Friday at 9pm, a bloody knife was found in the couple's kitchen. The prosecutor has not disclosed her medical information. Of all the facts of the case, these stand out to you. The break's up. Your client lose the case. As you let out of the courtroom, you wonder. It didn't have to be this way. Remember, I'm pronouncing important. Abuse. Do you know abuse? Maybe you have repressed memories of abuse. Freud would say so. Remember a girl named Gianna. The breaks up. You and your client lose the case. Is that the courtroom you wonder? I mean, it seems like I'm kind of doing things in reverse a little bit. I think I, I think I kind of segmented, breaked some of the clues. Remember evidence. Maybe this is the same. Yeah, it's the same. We could have just skip this. Just remember. Number medication? You witnessed a lot of past cases using medical information as evidence. But you can't get that info without the patient's permission. You feel like there's something strange about the prosecutor. She resists revealing that info more than usual. You'd be wrong to get her info without her permission, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, see, we're sequence breaking backwards. It's because we went right for the purse. So we kind of found things we shouldn't have very early. Let's try. Die. I'm trying to melt into your scene and die, but it's not possible. No worries, it'll happen eventually. The break's up. You and your client lose the case. As you, let, as you lay out of the courtroom, you wonder. Is there more you could have done? Ask. Bipolar? What do you know about the bipolar? Nothing much. Why? Your ex might have bipolar. I found a prescription in her purse. She has been acting strange, and I just can't... After the incident. The incident. Getting a little more information here. Come on! Damn. The break's up. You and your client lose the case. He's letting out the courtroom, you wonder. There's more of this case. Let's try asking about the incident then. Ask. Incident. It's hot as hell. Why are you wearing that turtleneck? Because I'm cold. More ways than one. I need the truth if you want to stand a chance. Look. I have some scars in my arms. It's no big deal. I fell from the stairs, is all. What's that scar on your neck? This? Huh. Fine. You want the truth? She came at me one day with a knife. And I had to block her. Then she headbutted me. 
But who's gonna believe that? The worst part of it is, I still love her. This new story is valuable, but it's only spoken words. It might not hold up in court. The breaks up. You and your client lose the case. As you let out of the courtroom, you wonder. Is it more than is there a more just outcome? Ask Phone. What are your opinions on phones? Phones? I lost mine recently, actually. But my girlfriend, uh, my ex now, I guess. She'd always be on hers. But it's easy to distract her from it. Just talk about sad things. The breaks up. You and your client lose the case. He's let out the courtroom you wonder. Didn't have to be this way. Let's try asking about sad. Sad? What's the saddest thing you and your ex fought about? Great conversation starter. Well, the saddest thing was probably our dog, Krissa. She died a few months ago. The ex has been weird since, too. The break's up. You and your client lose the case. He's out of the courtroom, you wonder. Let's ask about Krissa. Ask... Krissa. Hmm. Never mind, go back. Let's see. Grab... Phone. Here we go. Hey, nice phone you got there. And if I take a look? Um, what kind of question is that? No, sorry. This is new. Asking her isn't going to work. But if you really want to, you could distract her with something. Medication? Mission failure. Maybe your client can give some insight on distracting her. Breaks up. Go back and do it again. Grab. Phone. Krissa. You approach her when no one's watching. Hey, uh, mind telling me about Krissa? Heard she was a great companion. She smiles and launches into a long story about her dog. Really cute. Like my, um, boyfriend. Who have both left me. I'm so sorry. She excuses herself to the bathroom. You're sure she's crying. She left behind her phone. You take it. You only have a few minutes to search for messages and emails. What do you search for? Bipolar. You find evidence that she has bipolar. Worried text to friends. See, I can't find medicine. It's okay, babe. You don't need it. You're the sweetest girl I know. Notes to herself. One says... Let's see. I destroyed the prescription. There's no way I have bipolar. I'm not crazy. I can't be. And the diary says, Dear diary, my boyfriend said this diary thing would be good for me, so here goes. Today was really bad. The doc said I'm crazy. Well, I'm bipolar. Same thing. I've ripped my bipolar prescription. There's no way I have bipolar. I'm not crazy. I can't be. Having this mental illness untreated is dangerous for her close friends. Like my client. The new evidence is enough to get his ex a misdemeanor charge. Your client says he feels conflicted about this, but is overall grateful. Justice is served, and you think about all the previous domestic situations you've seen. Did you not know the truth then? Hmm. Okay. Now. Try it. I find a string of text to Gianna. Gianna. She sounds familiar. The texts are incriminating. Telling Gianna that she didn't remember anything. But woke up to bloody handprints and a bruised boyfriend. Newly found evidence convinces the judge to pass a last minute restraining order. Not against your client, but against his ex-girlfriend. A day's work for you. Life changing for him. Justice is served. One person made a change. Wasn't enough. So that's it for He Beat Her. I think we uncovered the truth and also got our client off at the same time. There's a little bit of confusion there with me with uh, the whole Gianna relation. I, I don't see how she kind of helped the case out by remembering her and calling her. But I guess she, she must have like said something on the phone. 
that like incriminated his girlfriend at, um, of basically attacking the boyfriend at some point with a knife. I think legally that's not actually admissible as evidence like that, but you know, it's a visual novel. Anyway, a uh, interesting kind of game. Uh, this is one of those Ludum Dare games, they're made very fast, um, and very surreal, actually. Like, it's purposely done that way to add the dream state, and it has that kind of cloudy feel, even the way you kind of like handle the case is not realistic at all. But there's kind of an interesting feeling in it. It's actually not what I expected at all when I read about the description of this game. Very different than what I was expecting. Anyway, thank you all for watching me play He Beat Her. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.